It's not always sunshine and ceramic coatings. Sometimes it's negative six degrees and the dirtiest car we've detailed in a long time. Check it out. All right, so it was actually super cold today and we had a little bit of snow, so we actually had a couple of appointments cancel on us. So we was actually glad to have this dirty car come in today. This thing was a Mazda 2. I think the customer said he was letting somebody in the family use it. As you can tell, it was pretty dirty. Had a bunch of straw, dirt, mud, and just some heavy stains in it. So he was just wanting to get it cleaned up before he started driving it again. So first we're going to get a good look at this thing. There you can see all the stuff that was in the back seat and a little bit of that straw that was there. So we'll show you a couple more angles here before we get started on this level two interior. First thing we're going to do is take the floor mats out and then start bagging up any kind of change or any kind of personal belongings that might be the customers. And then after that, we'll go ahead and do the first vacuum on this thing to get all the straw out and any, any kind of other trash that's in there. So while they do the vacuum, we're gonna go ahead and get our chemical mixed up. We're gonna use the PNS upholstery shampoo. This stuff's super concentrated and smells awesome whenever you use it on all the upholstery in there. So we're gonna mix this thing 16 to one with hot water. So there you see we're measuring it out. Then we'll go ahead and get our hot water in there and we'll start pre-treating all the fabric. start shampooing with our my tea hot water extractor he's gonna go through and do the seats first and then we'll work our way down to the carpets see we got a few people on this thing so while one of the guys is doing the shampooing the other guys are going to be going around hitting all the plastics and the nooks and crannies just trying to blow it out in the open that whenever we either shampoo or vacuum we'll be able to suck it up
break out our new steamer that we just bought. We bought this off Chief's website. I think we paid about a thousand dollars for it. Been using it for about three weeks and I've come to find out that it seems like when nothing else is working, whether it's just grime or gum or weird stains, it seems like the steamer does a really good job at getting them out of there. You'll see a little bit later in the video whenever we were trying to get some gum or caramel off the floor mats the pressure washer wouldn't get them off there but the steamer got them off there easily so the guys are going to go through and use the steamer in the extractor and get as much of this stuff out as they can then we'll move on to the next step <laughs> Customer actually told us to throw these floor mats away, but we decided we wanted to clean them up nice for him anyway. through and hit some of these last cracks and crevices underneath the seats and then we're going to do one of the things that most detailers overlook which is the pedals so we're going to clean all the gunk and mud off those and then we'll clean that black piece where the steering shaft goes down through the floor I go through and use the steamer on all the door jams around the rubbers and the painted areas. We're going to clean the door opening and underneath the bottom part of the door. After we get that done, this thing should be about finished up.
got this all cleaned up, we'll let you get a really good look at it. This thing took us about five hours, even though two guys were on it most of the time. We always like doing a fun challenge like this, even though there's gonna be some parts that just don't come out 100% perfect, whether it be a stain or something that just won't go away. But we'll put the fans on this thing, we'll let it dry out, and then we'll call the customer as soon as it's all finished up and dry. Let me know what you think. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked our first dirty car detail video. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to see more stuff like this, let me know. Or if you want to see more window tinting, ceramic coating, or paint correction, let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.